There's gonna be a little installation video on ice scratchers. This is what they give you. This piece. This piece. That bolt. Those two bolts. And that's the scratcher. Now it's installed. Looks like that there. So what I did, I took my car jack. I just jacked up the front. I mean, I could have put it on the highest, but I got a heated floor, so I lay down on it. Doesn't bother me. Bear with me. Trying to figure out the best way to do this. You know, after watching all these videos, everybody's saying how hard it is to do shit one-handed. Okay. So, when I installed the first one, I just went and put this bracket here onto there. And then I was like, oh, well, the one bolt seems to cover the spring. Uh, kind of gopped out and then I went and installed oh, this bolt first and I didn't notice that it's slotted halfway underneath oh, the face of this bolt so then I had to undo one which sucked so on this side, I decided to make a video so that nobody else does the same mistake. And they go and they put their bolts in first. This is all you'll need. 13 mil ratchet, it's a must. You have to have the socket. 13 mil wrench and 10 mil. So the reason why I say you gotta have the socket is because again, if you live in Canada, you probably have lots of stuff on your mind or a beer in your hand. So you might miss uh, this one goes through the spring. And that there is why you have to have a socket and you can't use two wrenches. I'll put you guys down again for a second. So now I've got the one bolt inside there, one bolt there. I didn't quite tighten them up yet, but this thing's now locked in place. It'll tighten up and get held in by the two bolts. And then, there's this one. And that's what the spring hangs on when you're not using it. They give you this little washer that can only go in one place. All right, we're gonna do it in that. So the bolt actually goes through this 
and it has its own place where it sits. Now this side. Yeah, oh. That was really tricky. Now this side. You gotta put the wash here. Cause that's what actually makes it flush. Without that washer, it's not flush. And it won't sit right. So this one put in there. Just like that. You guys back here for a second. Wish you to get my fingers in there. I don't have very big hands, but there's really small spots. All right, and there you go. I mean, I still gotta tighten them up, but that was a quick jits. How it goes, the right order to do it in. Now you just tighten. There might be a torque spec, but I don't really. I mean, I have torque wrenches. I even have digital torque wrenches, but I don't always use them. This is the other side. I already did the install. Just wanted to show everybody how it's done. That's how it goes down. It actually cuts the ground. Like this one. Like that, like so. Scratches the ice, the snow, brings it up, puts it into the tunnel, picks it up and around. Even the snow flap catches some, brings it up, hits the cooler, and under there. Keeps your sled from overheating. And that's the ice scratcher install.